BMW recently mocked Toyota for its fake manual transmission and also it's making fun of this kind of new concept. And that is electric cars that sound like internal combustion engine vehicles. BMW's executives maintain that that just doesn't make any sense. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. A high-ranking BMW executive says BMW doesn't like the idea of an electric vehicle pretending to be a petrol vehicle or a gasoline vehicle just for the sake of it, just for the, I don't know. He doesn't know why anyone would even want that. I Personally, I haven't met anyone who wants that, so I can understand what he's talking about. This is a very interesting concept here, guys. And the reason for this perplexity we're seeing some automakers have for Toyota's decision to do this, and not just Toyota, but other companies as well, is that they've spent so much money. I mean, people have invested, companies, car companies have invested literally tens of millions of dollars into getting their cars to have the right internal combustion engine sounds. But not only that, they've invested hundreds of millions into fake manual transmissions they are literally fake they're simulators so it's like a, a kid's toy but for adults anyway german car giant bmw is unlikely to follow hyundai uh, fiat and other car man manufacturers in designing simulated petrol engine sounds and it's unlikely to follow toyota in fake manual transmissions or automatic gear shifts controlled by software in its high performance electric cars Realistically, having shifts controlled by software, so the car feels jerky, so you do that, it's really just something else that can break. It's something else that's going to cost you more money. The best part, right, is no part. I don't understand the point. I don't understand why you would want this in an EV when you know underneath it all, it's not doing anything. It's just simulation. BMW Chief Executive Officer Frank Weber told media, including US website Inside EVs, the company is not concerned with making its EVs have the sound and gear shift feedback of petrol cars or gasoline powered cars. Now, Toyota calls this emotion. They say the emotion is missing in an electric car. The only way to get it back is to make fake noises and pretend manual transmissions. Personally, I think that's called fake emotion. If you're gonna make fake products, what's the result? Fake emotion. No, that's that's my take on this. Yeah, we can maybe emulate a stick, a digital stick. Mr. Weber said when asked by Inside EVs about plans for fake stick shift or manual transmissions by briefly pausing the power of the electric motor to simulate a gear change and petrol engine-esque engine sound. But to emulate that, you have fixed gears and you shift them. Probably we can do it in the afternoon after we've done with all the other things. You'll be surprised how different vehicles drive when you see the next generation. He's basically saying, why? what is the point? In contrast to BMW, Hyundai's high performance N division is among the biggest supporters of fake petrol car sounds or fake gasoline car sounds and gear shifts in EVs as well. So Toyota, it's, they're not going this alone. Hyundai, in fact, they agree with Toyota. They think this is a great idea. The new Hyundai Ioniq 5 N Performance EV enables drivers to simulate the eight-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission in the company's petrol N cars and offers three simulated engine sounds, including one designed to mimic the two-liter turbo petrol engine in the i30 N hot hatch. Now, personally, if I wanted to mimic the sound of another car, I wouldn't be choosing a two-litre turbo petrol or turbo gasoline engine. I'd be choosing like, I don't know, maybe a V8 from a, a Challenger, a Dodge Challenger, or uh, maybe the flat plane crank V8 from the, uh, the, G, the Ford GT350. That sounds amazing. Why would you choose a two-litre turbo petrol engine? I mean, it doesn't add up to me. But anyway, each to their own. US muscle car specialist Dodge has previewed the growling V8 noise its upcoming electric performance cars are likely to have. Toyota, of course, is working on a software-controlled manual transmission for electric vehicles. It even has a clutch, which is a simulation. BMW is not interested in simulating petrol or gasoline car sounds in its EVs. 
Its battery powered vehicles do have artificial driving noises though, composed by famous film music composer, Hans Zimmer. I personally, I'm not a fan of that either. I, I, what I really love about electric cars is the silence. You can just listen to music in, you know, almost silence. You get a bit of wind noise depending on the model you buy. You're still you're going to get a bit of wind noise in an EV, but ultimately they're much quieter. You can hear your audio book you're listening to. You can hear the music really well. I don't think that's a big, I think it's a big benefit. Unlike Dodge, electric cars from BMW do not play artificial driving sounds through an external speaker. They only emit them inside the car. So what Dodge is doing is they're making it so you can hear the noise inside the car through the speakers. And obviously Ford does this right now on their gasoline powered vehicles already. And they're also making it have sounds come from outside of the car as well so that it sounds like their muscle cars. Dodge obviously think this is necessary for their existing owners to go and buy an electric car. I don't think there'll be too many um, V8 owners who are gonna say, oh great, you made a fake V8 engine noise. I'm gonna go out and buy your EV muscle car tomorrow. I just don't, I don't think the marketing departments really uh, are gonna really have a great time selling that feature. I think they can probably sell the cars on what they actually do, the range, the performance, how do they handle, those kinds of things. That's probably the things I think I'll be focusing on if I was making a new electric car. What are your thoughts on this? Thank you for watching.